Hey friends, I have another throwback of Sakura when she was a little one and I'm going to show you how to do these cute little ringlets in your little one's hair. I've done a ringlet hairstyle before but it was in longer hair and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do it in short hair. But before I start friends, let me just share some of my pictures of when I used to wear wigs just because of my other throwback videos. Some of you guys were curious on what I look like in a wig because I'm wearing a wig in these videos. So I used to wear wigs all the time. I used to fashion blog and I used to have all different kind of wigs and I loved wearing wigs. And then I decided to stop wearing wigs. I know I told you guys this story before just because, you know, I felt like how am I going to teach Sakura to love her curly hair if I'm not loving my curly hair? And I never loved my curly hair growing up and I thought, hey, it's time for me to start loving my hair, embracing it. And so I'm teaching my daughter, now daughters, to love their curly hair. And sometimes I do really wish I could put on a wig, but I'm like, hey, in the future, 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 I'll do that. <laughs> So I started off by detangling her hair with a pick and oh my goodness how easy it used to be to, to detangle her hair. <laughs> so before I get those curls in there I'm just going to create a part and I'm going to part it to the side and I use the outer eye as my guide. You can part it in the middle if you would like and then you're just going to want to use your spray bottle and spray some water in it to have it nice and moisturized so that the curls look nice and popping. And then I just grabbed my comb and I just twisted the hair in that comb. And you want to make sure that it's all detangled, the hair is detangled before you make those twists. And as you can see, I didn't really have nice parts. And after the hairstyle is done, you wouldn't even really notice that I didn't part it like all nice and straight. So if you can't get nice parts in there, don't worry about it. Just, just keep going. And see, when I do the parts, I'm just trying to get them all the same size. If you can, if you have one smaller and one a bit bigger, that's not going to hurt the style. Just try your best. So the key ingredients to this hairstyle is your spray bottle and your comb. You want to make sure that you're, you're always spraying your hair and making sure it's nice and moisturized and that you have a great comb to, you know, just make those twists. My comb is a dollar store comb, so you don't need the best of the best, just a comb that works. So friends, see when you're getting that curl in there, you just want to put it in between your comb. Like I said, make sure it's all nice and detangled. And all you're doing is twisting and twisting that curl until, you know, the comb is all the way through the hair. And then here I just wanted to show you how I parted the back. And friends, I know it's so tough when they're this age to have them stay still, but I don't think it's possible for, for every little one. So as you can see, Sakura, she moves around a lot. I think she was almost two in this video. And so I just kind of like worked with her, like just wherever she moved, I moved. And I would give her things to play with that she wouldn't normally be allowed to play with. Like see, for instance, these combs. She just, I remember always being able to give her these combs and she would just play and play with it. And also put on her their favorite TV show. I know another thing kids love to play with is keys because they're not allowed to play with it. And yeah, you just have to work with it. The part won't be all that great, but it's not gonna really affect the cute style. So friends, I hope you liked this video. If you did, of course, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more hair tutorials. We love you, friends.